Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, is it just me, or does that display seem to be showing an egg? Either way, we lost one of our soldiers, Sesame Seeds, who was killed by Shopkeeper, who himself was being mind-controlled by the alien that was the head of this supply vessel. We weren't quick enough to stop the alien from getting into his mind, and we tried to knock him out. Unfortunately, Shopkeeper killed him. It's regrettable, but there wasn't much that we could do. Now we know there are a few aliens over here somewhere, like that alien there. Can we take a shot at you? The answer is no. No, we can't. So we're actually going to wait and see if we can uh, get this alien in a better position. End turn. I've no idea where you're going, but there aren't many aliens left, that's for sure. Open the door. Oh, hello, you're right there. Caddy for us. You're hopefully going to perish, and perish you did. Brilliant. Let us move uh, our soldiers over here. We're going to have to get ready very cautiously to go into the second floor. The second floor is full of peril. Okay, you're going to go over here. Any aliens over here? The answer is yes! Yes, there are, actually. There's an alien right there. There isn't an alien there anymore. And that means that there's probably going to be another alien coming that way at some point. So let's move you over here and hope an alien doesn't come down that lift. No, the aliens are just going in and checking that area, I think. Don't see any aliens. We could quickly pop into there and see if an alien is just outside the door. That's actually quite likely. Aliens like to uh, hide just behind doors and then pop into a room and check and then come back. I'm going to get Alex Denton over to here. That is very likely the final alien up there. I'm going to put you over here. I want to be sure that uh, we're not right next to the lift because if you saw Awesome Possum quickly dispatch that alien because the alien was so close, just reverse that situation and you'll understand why. Hit a movement. Nothing happened at all. Right, shopkeeper. Time for you to go up and find this alien. You're probably behind this door. You're not behind this door. Ah. Are you behind this door? Maybe. This is a mistake waiting to happen because we don't know where this alien is. All we know is that the alien is somewhere. There you are! You appear to have no weapon whatsoever. Let's see if we can shoot you. You're gone. Marvelous! Mission successful! We got 509 positive rating for that. We lost the tank, we lost one XCOM operative, and we killed 15 aliens. But more importantly, we gained three power sources for navigation, we gained food, surgery, lots of alloys, and 150 Illyrium. And we have nowhere near enough space for any of this, so we're gonna have to make some space by getting rid of uh, some of these. Let's get rid of all of them, and that. That doesn't help. We still need to get rid of 27 stuff. This should help. We've now got rid of 6.9, got rid of uh, 7.3, getting rid of some of the uh, corpses will help. There we go. Anything else that we can get rid of? We are not getting rid of the Illyrium. We could get rid of some alloys, though. Quite a few alloys, actually. In fact, if we mostly get rid of alloys, we should be fine. There we go! 2.4 million. Sesame seeds. One kill. I'm sorry. Let's uh, have the two uh, craft leave. That uh, base is still going to be there for a little bit. We're not quite done with that base yet. That means we may have more supply missions in the future that we have to take care of. Let us get somebody else on this craft. I think it is time for, uh, hmm, who shall make him return? Civilian, welcome back. We also need to uh, get one more soldier there. Let us recruit one more soldier, and let's look to transfer some of the uh, equipment that we just got. We want to uh, transfer these rifles and these rifle clips over to the base where they're going to be uh, most used. Do we have any um, any more suits of personal armor? 
We might not, actually. We might have to manufacture some. It won't take very long to do that. Let's, uh, get some of that produced. Maybe one or two sets. It won't take that long. There we are. Just a day and 16 hours while our research slowly ticks over. Ooh, average, average, and average. That means we're getting relatively close to some of those, which is good. Let us keep going. Time will advance, and... Oh, the power suit is complete. A powerful new protection for soldiers, this armor is powered by an Illyrium energy source and greatly amplifies the speed and strength of the wearer. It offers the best protection yet for combat troops, and that is some fantastic research. And now, we are going to start uh, interrogating the ethereal leader. We want to get that ethereal leader research so that we can start figuring out how to uh, use psionics. This is important, though. We're not going to be doing that anymore. We want to uh, manufacture a lot of power suits. They require five uh, alloys and five Illyrium per suit, and they are 42,000. We're going to manufacture as many of them as we can, or that we really need, as in we're going to manufacture about 15 of them? This is going to take 15 days. It is going to take a long time to get those suits going, but ultimately it will be worth it, as they are a huge upgrade compared to personal armor. One of the immediate benefits is that uh, the soldiers will no longer take that uh, stun damage from standing in the smoke grenades, and they also won't take damage from standing on tiles that are aflame. Both of these are advantageous, but generally the armor that we're gaining is advantageous. Excellent. They have been, uh, ah, here we go. An alien retaliation, Europe. That makes sense, they are still looking for us. Let's see if we can shoot this down. Where are you going? Well, either way, you're going to get shot down. It is a large scout, and you've crash landed immediately. Now we could just leave that there. And I'm half tempted to do so, because I want to get some better armor, but on the other hand, I wouldn't mind uh, getting some more supplies. It's always good to get even more stuff. That said, we do already have quite a lot of stuff. How many? Whoa, we have quite a lot of uh, heavy plasma. You know what? I'm actually going to transfer some heavy plasma over to uh, that base as well. I'd say maybe this many, and... If we transfer over 10, and then we transfer over 20... Ah, we don't have enough storage there, so we'll just transfer over 10. And then we'll think about building some more storage over here. Let's see, build facilities, general stores... This is slowly turning out to be a much more, um, substantial base than I originally planned. But you have to make, uh, concessions for the fact that the aliens are looking for us. Now, is it going to be day soon? Yes, it is, and we know that Ethereals are there, which is not good. Right, let's look at our soldiers. Not here, we want to look here. Let's see who wants Ari. The only person who can currently have one, because that's the only one that we currently have. I'm a little nervous about going over to that uh, UFO, but we might as well take care of it. Also, uh, the uh, heavy plasma stuff that I sent over to here has just sent over. Let us now, uh, send this out and see just how more effective that power suit is. It's going to be very effective. I can only hope that, uh, oh wait, do we actually have a, uh, a tank in that craft? That's a good question. I don't know. Why don't you go back right now? Because I'm not sure if I equipped a tank. Oh, there's a terror ship happening. Right, let us, uh, intercept that. It's going to North Africa. So we will intercept with, uh, Mallard Algo. And why don't we intercept as well with Mallard Swadia as well, even though it's not likely to actually get there on time? Wow, you actually got quite far before we realized where you were. Hopefully you're not going to land. And you didn't land. Brilliant. Now I'm definitely going to shoot this down and then ignore it because there's no chance I'm dealing with this. That was a quick launching of a mission there. Very quick. Because the uh, previous terror ship wasn't actually that long ago. I really need to double check if I actually have a tank here. I do have a tank here. That's good. Worth checking. Now, can we get to that uh, in time? We probably can. Let's go and have a look, shall we? 
How bad is this mission going to be? Let's hope it's not at night. It's not at night. Excellent. Begin the mission. Right. Sub-Zero is there with the heavy plasma. Barry is wearing the power suit. That is some amazing armor. It's really good. Eventually everybody's going to be using it, and I'll be really glad when everyone is using it. Oh, there is one thing I have, uh... Oh no wait, everybody currently is uh, wearing armor. I thought the civilian didn't have armor, because I am um, still in the mindset that uh, I only have enough suits of armor for everybody that's in the squad. Nope, I was forward-thinking enough to have that not be the case. Alex Denton, time for you to have some uh, heavy plasma. And it's time to start. Right, we can't see the UFO. Let's head out and see how quickly we lose the tank. Well, we know where the UFO is now. We also know where lots and lots of hedges are, and I don't like the hedges. Move a little further forward. Has the, uh... We can't really see, but I'm going to presume that there is a massive hole in that, and thus some of the, uh... Some of the ethereals are gone. That armor is just really good. It's really good armor. Okay, throw... There. And I want you to go over to here. There we go. You can just look over there. You don't see anyone. Good. And I'm going to have Sub-Zero go over to here. And then I'm going to wait. Smoke goes off. Hit a movement. Not many aliens by the looks of it. That wasn't a very long turn. Right, time for you to do some scouting. See if you can see anyone. You know what I can't see? Any buildings right now. That's pretty good. I don't mind that we can't see buildings. Let's go over here. The uh, stun damage is slowly uh, accumulating for Sub-Zero. Not for Barry, though. Barry cares not for the smoke. Well, Barry appreciates the smoke, but the smoke isn't uh, affecting him at all. Let's go over here with Angel. And since we don't have a target right now, we don't want Angel to just randomly shoot, we're going to get rid of uh, her turn units. And we'll slowly get everyone out of the craft. We want to be very careful. We don't want a repeat of what happened to Shopkeeper. Oh, do we not want a repeat of that? We so far haven't found any aliens at all. Also, we'll have you facing that way. You never know! Okay, there is no Illyrium on this craft, I can tell, because there's a giant hole in the top. Either that, or this is a new and revolutionary design for a UFO that I've not seen before. It's very unlikely to be that. There might be some buildings over here? We'll find out eventually. Okay, time to move you out as well. The aliens don't know we're here, but as long as they don't know that we're here, there's going to be no attempts at psionics, and hopefully, at some point, we'll be keeping somebody at the back of this craft who will be, uh... Actually, you don't need that equipped at all, because we're not taking anyone alive here. We'll have somebody equipped, uh, waiting at the back of the craft to use psionic powers themselves. Also, no point saving any, uh, things for a, uh, snapshot here. It's unlikely that any aliens are going to pop up and give us an opportunity to shoot them. And then an alien goes, Hello, I'm giving you an opportunity to shoot me! Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It makes me think that there's only going to be, uh, ethereals in the UFO. Remember when I said there weren't any buildings? Clearly, I was just, uh, engaging in some wishful thinking. Because there's a building. There's also a field. But I'm more worried about the building. End turn. Still nothing. Still absolutely nothing going on here. Aha! One ethereal. We can take out one ethereal because that ethereal is quite a ways up. And you know what that means? Some fine shooting of great accuracy is to be had. Sub-Zero? That wasn't that accurate, Sub-Zero. Try again! Okay, none of that was accurate, Sub-Zero. Never mind. You can't hit the target, but maybe Postman Pat can. Might as well move you out of the way. You never know what might happen with an errant shot. Okay, Postman Pat. 20% accuracy? Surely you can do this. Apparently so! 
Apparently you can! Sub-Zero was just leading the shots for you. Well done, Sub-Zero! That was totally what you were planning, right? It wasn't what you were planning at all, was it? Okay, let's see if we can find some... Well, I think we might have found another alien. There are two aliens here! We have plenty of opportunity to shoot these aliens, and we'll start with a snapshot at you. It missed. Fair enough, we have lots more targets now. Hoseman Pat, you have another opportunity to do something awesome here. Try and take out this one. Close? But that's a building. Still very close, a lot closer than Sub-Zero ever got with his shots. Alright, shopkeeper, it's time to redeem yourself. You killed Sesame Seeds, though your mind was not your own when it happened. See what you can do. Good. Very good. Now, can you take some shots at uh, this alien here? Close. One hit, not bad, but no alien has been killed. You can't move over there. Sadwick? I think Sadwick could probably take a shot or two here. If these are the only three aliens, I will be very happy, but I highly doubt it. See what you can do! That was the tank you shot the back of, but then you did hit the alien. The tank is not doing so well now, that is not very surprising. End turn. Uh-oh! Mind control is happening! We need to move quite quickly to get to uh, that UFO. Let's do that, shall we? Over here you go, Barry! We need to make sure that uh, nobody gets mind controlled. We're not having a repeat of what happened before. Oh no. Over there you go. When they start to have uh, power suits, there is one disadvantage to it, and that is that uh, power suits make it a lot harder to knock out your own soldiers. Somebody with a power suit that gets mind controlled, that is a very bad thing indeed. But you make the best of the situation you have, and right now, I feel like scattering out my soldiers might be a really good plan. Mainly because, if they're scattered out, it's less likely that they're going to try and kill each other when they're mind-controlled. Oh! There's an alien over there somewhere. Where, though? The shot came from... over here? Let's have a look over here and see if we can find anyone. Aha! There's an alien right there on the roof, which is good, because that means we can take some shots at that alien on the roof. Sadwick, see what you can do! Pew pew! Nice shot! That just went over the alien's head, but that's fine. We can get you! Marvelous! That was likely the ethereal that was trying to mind control the various soldiers in my squad. At least I hope that's the case. So, so far we've taken out quite a few aliens. Hopefully there aren't any more aliens that we need to take out. It's quite likely there'll be more. Yep, shopkeeper is panicked. They're going for shopkeeper. Shopkeeper seems to be a prime target for mind control. Let's move some people away from shopkeeper. Actually, if shopkeeper is going to uh, be mind controlled, you know what? Let's drop shopkeeper. Ah, shopkeeper actually doesn't have enough uh, turn units to drop weaponry. That was what I was thinking of doing, having shopkeeper drop all of his uh, equipment so that if he is mind controlled, he doesn't actually have a weapon to shoot anyone with. That's probably a pretty good idea. I'll have you go behind here. Or you could just go with this squad. That's probably actually a good idea. Go with that squad. You're going to be the next soldier that gets a power suit. Quite important that you get one. We're not going to be dealing with terror ships that have ethereals in them, by the way, until we have uh, psionics at the very least. End turn. Oh, Sadwick has panicked. Shopkeeper has panicked as well. And Shopkeeper has done what I hoped would happen, which is that he's dropped his weapon and is now running away. Any aliens over here? No? Okay. Probably an ethereal somewhere in that UFO. Or there's an ethereal hiding out in those buildings. But when we come back, folks, we'll figure out which one is the case. Chances are it's going to be both. 
is going to be an ethereal here, an ethereal here, and an ethereal right in the craft that we emerged in, piloting it! Where do you want to go? Uh, we want to go to the crash landing? I've got a better idea. Why don't we crash into the sea? Uh, it's on autopilot, you can't do that. Oh, can you disable that? No, I don't think we will. Done. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.